Did you know that the first portable, upright vacuum cleaners were launched almost a century ago in 1922 by Hoover? Upright vacuums have dominated the vacuum industry for a long time since. I remember my grandmother using a bulky Hoover to vacuum around our old home back in the day. Vacuum manufacturers looked into these changing consumer trends and created stick vacuums, a perfect way to solve the urban cleaning problem. But does that mean that it is time to retire the old barrel upright vacuum cleaner? We don't think so. Despite great advances, stick cleaners and upright cleaners still have distinct areas where they excel. So the final choice of which one is better for you depends on your particular requirements. Let us help you make that choice by pointing out the differences. Stick vacuums. Stick vacuums are gaining popularity, especially in the last two decades. They are extremely convenient for people who live in smaller apartments and need a quick, lightweight, easily maneuverable device that can pluck out dirt from the smallest corners. Stick vacuums are usually cordless, so you don't have to keep plugging and unplugging them into electrical sockets as you move from one room to another. In addition, they come with a rechargeable battery so that you can charge them up during the night, and you are ready to use them the next morning. If you have pets at your home, it is easy to remove their hair using a stick vacuum because they can give you short bursts of power and can reach places that an upright vacuum will never reach. On the other hand, stick vacuums are known to be typically less powerful. If you have a lot of rugs and carpets in your home, stick vacuums may not clean them as efficiently because they generally have less suction power. Secondly, stick vacuum batteries have notoriously poor charge capacity. If you live in a home any larger than 1500 FT2, Stick vacuums may not be the way to go because you will be unlikely to clean your entire home in one charge. Upright vacuums. Upright vacuums haven't stagnated over time. On the contrary, a lot of innovation has made them smaller, lighter, and more useful to consumers. Today, an upright vacuum will usually have a beater bar, a cleaning head, a handle, and of course, a large dust bag or dust bin. If you're looking for pure suction power, nothing beats an upright or a canister these beasts are specialized in cleaning out your carpets and rugs because they work like a boxer's one-two punch. The beater bar beats out dirt and debris, and the powerful suction of the vacuum then takes care of the rest. If you have a large home, then nothing beats the upright vacuum for a thorough cleaning. In addition, with their considerably larger dust bags, you don't have to keep cleaning out your dust compartment every few minutes. That said, replacing a dust bag is a bit of a hassle. Secondly, the cord is quite a nuisance especially if you have a smaller home, because it will get stuck in furniture. It may not allow the vacuum to reach certain places because the cord is just not long enough. Size. On average, stick vacuums will weigh between 3-8 pounds and will be very sleek, whereas upright vacuums can easily go above 15 pounds and usually take up a lot more space. For example, the very popular Bissell Featherweight Stick Vacuum Cleaner weighs just under 4 pounds and has dimensions of 8.3 x 9.5 x 44.25 inches. If you don't have a lot of storage space or need to clean your car or have stairs in your home, stick vacuums are the way to go. Upright vacuums are kings when it comes to suction power. On average, the top five most popular upright vacuums on Amazon have higher than 960 power, whereas the top five stick vacuums have 240 with power. These numbers, of course, do not mean that there are no powerful stick vacuums as Dyson, Meal, and Samson would argue. However, on average, if you're setting out to buy a powerful vacuum, you should lean towards the upright ones. Ease of use is an easy category to judge. Stick vacuums were designed specifically to cater to ease of use. They are lighter, easier to use, they don't have cords. They are designed to get into small spaces, and in many other ways. Stick vacuums are just better at understanding ease of use. If you have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in your house, then it is the ultimate test of your vacuum cleaner. We find that in most cases, stick vacuums have started to give upright ones a run for their money in this crucial segment. However, most of these models are high-end ones that are bound to cost you a pretty penny. So if you're looking for a value for money product that can get your carpet spick and span, you should look towards upright ones. Hardwood flooring is a staple for vacuum cleaners. Cordless vacuums have been performing satisfactorily on them for many years now. However, since they are lighter, easier to handle, and some have softer heads designed specifically for making it easy to pick up debris and dirt. Stick vacuums are preferable for hardwood flooring, especially as hardwood floors do not require as much suction power to clean compared to carpet. Pet hair, especially dog and cat hair, 
is a major challenge for any vacuum cleaner. While stick vacuums have started to get better at this crucial parameter, the new challenge that has emerged is that stick vacuums become filled up very quickly due to the high amount of pet hair. As mentioned earlier, the dust cups are very small, so you might end up having to remove pet hair far too often, which can be very troublesome for people who have allergies. Another problem is that if you run a stick vacuum at its maximum power for a long time, you are bound to run out of battery pretty quickly. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.